it's me, Monica, the nutritionist, and today I want to talk about fat diet. It's different kinds of diets. Now, it's the new year. A lot of us have New Year's resolutions, right? You want to lose weight. You want to eat healthier, and that is awesome. We should all want to eat healthier. But with so many diets and nutritional recommendations coming at you from TV, websites, books, social media, um, you just don't know where to start. You might be a little confused. What is the proper diet? my body type right there is raw food there's vegan there's ketogenic there's paleo there's atkins um should you add more oils to your diet should you avoid oils should you avoid legumes or grains um should you start counting calories or counting points collecting points i'm not sure even how that works but it could get overwhelming unfortunately there is conflicting conflicting information within the medical nutritional community. Why? Genetics. Our genes are different from one person to the next, which means our metabolisms are different. You know, there's no long-term human trials that, um, that you know, have boiled down to finding the perfect diet um, because one size does not fit all. So most of the diets out there are fad diets for a reason. They don't work. You have to spend a lot of your money, right? They have their own products, supplements, shakes, powders. Um, they promise quick and easy results and you might get quick results, but most of the time you're just losing water weight. And if they promise um, weight loss without changing your dietary habits, that's a red flag because if you know that you have bad eating habits and you don't have to change that to lose weight, you should not definitely not follow that kind of diet or buy their products. And you, you don't know sometimes what's in their products. If there's a proprietary blend and they don't release all their information, who knows what's in there? A lot of them are, are full of sugar. They're, they're not very good quality. Um, you know, there's a lot of maybe caffeine in there that if your body's not used to it, a lot of them, you might have to cut down significantly on calories um or starving yourself um or maybe you're cutting way uh down on a macronutrient and all of these different changes are extreme uh, an extreme diet um can cause nutritional deficiencies hormonal imbalance dysglycemia your blood sugars all over the place um or or worse and um i don't want that for you you shouldn't go uh struggle in that way so all of that only creates a fearful and confusing relationship with food. And I don't want that for you because we obviously need food to survive, but we need food to nourish us. And when that happens, then we can thrive and not just survive. So yes, food is complex because of our genes, but I promise you that there is clear medical nutritional science behind certain dietary patterns um, that our guidelines that we all can follow to avoid chronic disease and to be healthier. Okay, so let us start with the basics. Michael Pollan, uh, an expert in nutritional science, once said, eat, eat, eat food, not too much, mostly plants. So by eat food, we mean eat real food, not ultra processed food-like substances that is plaguing our modern world. Um, you know, the food system hasn't really had our, our best interest um, because they know the proof is in the pudding. Obesity rates, cancer rates, diabetes rates haven't necessarily gone down. They're on the rise, right? And even, you know, there's a lot of cancers out there that weren't around 30, 50, 30 years ago. And those are all on the rise. And then we're sort of, um, taking our our type of uh, American diet to other countries where they didn't used to have diseases and they do now and they're on the rise because of you know we're introducing fast food chains to their countries to other countries and that's just not right um, we need to take control of our health right we need to eat real food the second part of that phrase is um, eat mostly plants and yes we should eat mostly plants so the modern American diet has pushed aside vegetables and has made animal products our number one food source. And that's just not what nature intended for our bodies. Our ancestors didn't eat this way. 
This is because there are many interests, money interests within the food industry, you know, along with the meat industry because they know that um, meat, you can make a lot more money selling meat than selling plants. And um, so it's been pushed down our throats for years now. And, um, and that's what's making us sick. We're a, a sugar addicted nation and we're a sick nation. And we need to tip that scale more, you know, to a more balanced scale. More plants, less meat. So the fact is animal products don't contain fiber, phytonutrients, antioxidants, minerals, vitamins, in such a compact source, um, um, only plants do. And animals don't provide that for us. And that concentrated source of, of these vitamins and fiber, that's what we need to put in our system because our body really needs that to live a long, healthy life. There's tons of research and human trials out there for years now showing that the overconsumption of animal products causes um, acidity, um, increases the risk for heart disease, that's well known, um, and, and, um, increases inflammation in our body, which leads to other diseases. Um, it messes with our, um, our, our digestive system, so we get digestive issues. There's also, um, uh, I know, it leads to obesity and certain cancers. This is well known. When you over consume animal products, we get sick. It ages us a lot faster. And then we have digestive disorders are on the rise. You know, there's IBS now, Crohn's, uh, diverticulosis, there's um, constipation, and just, um, you know, all of these digestive issues, uh, people going to the hospital for impacted colon. So you have the walls of your colon, we absorb most of our water from our colon, right? So if the walls of our colon have um, digestive material that's supposed to come out, but it's stuck there because we don't need enough fiber, um, what do you, what's going to happen? Well, we're not going to completely absorb the water that needs to go back into our system, or if it does absorb through that wall of the colon, it's going to be dirty water going back into our system. So we're, we're just increasing the toxins in our body. And um, this is on the rise, you know, like young people having digestive disorders and um, most of our immune system is in our digestive system and in, in our gut and we that's if that's off balance and that's not working properly we're not digesting you're not digesting food properly which means we're not absorbing all the minerals and vitamins and nutrients that we need and uh, we're creating inflammation and from there we just illness and disease spreads throughout our body so we need to realize that what, what we put in our mouth really up you know affects everything so I'm not saying that you shouldn't eat any meat um, you know pasture raised meat and eggs once in a while is good it's healthy I eat meat once in a while but I also eat a lot of veggies because I, I know I have that information um, so another point is that you know with this information you shouldn't try to be perfect you know, when you start to make these changes, all about these small changes, right? You can't be perfect, especially if you're not used to eating vegetables. So what can you do? How can you start? Well, you know, introduce some salads to your to your meal, some um, some soups, some smoothies. If you're if you're not used to having a lot of vegetables at every meal, which you should have veggies at every single meal, um, then start with the smoothie. And this is I always recommend this to people who aren't used to vegetables because your palate might not be used to, um, you know, the, the vegetables. It might taste kind of weird, but um, start with the smoothie because you could it could be a little sweet. So you're going to like it. You could put pineapple um, in there, apple, or, you know, orange, a little piece of banana. And then you put in your kale and your, um, your spinach and, you know, your superfood powders. You should definitely get a good quality superfood green powder because it has all the greens that you could possibly think of in powder form. So you're getting all the vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. It has superfoods. Superfoods only, they boost your health. You put a scoop in there in your smoothie every single day, you're going to get your body used to having these greens. And then you start, you know, you start cooking vegetables or start eating vegetables for yourself. 
you know, you go out to every, any store and there's, I love the fact that every store has their own organic line now. It makes it very affordable. There's frozen veggies that you can buy, put it, put those in a pot with a little bit of stock, breastfed butter, salt and pepper, and you're done. It's delicious. You know, there's, they're already chopped up for you. They're already, you know, separated or whatever and ready to go. You can start to meal prep as well. If you're a busy parent, you know, meal prepping is something that you can do where you go and you buy chicken in bulk or fish in bulk. You throw that in the oven, go on, go online, find a recipe that you want to try out and, and cook for yourself and for your family. Because if you're a parent, don't you want to live long and, and be there for your family? And you want to also teach uh, healthy eating habits to your kids so they can live long. Um, without you know getting sick anytime soon or without getting a, a disease or illness and this these are these little changes that you can do if you drink soda every day cut down on soda cut out soda try different liquids infuse your water with strawberries and lemons make lemonade at home or, or buy organic lemonade at least um, you know you make pineapple juice buy pineapple Put it in the blender with water a little bit of sugar pineapple juice but just try to make these changes and if you're absolutely eating horrible foods like sodas and chips and cookies but store-bought all that stuff there's are there is alternatives out there there is organic um chips and cookies now you could you could bake for yourself because when you bake for yourself um you get you're in control of all the ingredients you know exactly what's in there you control the sugar content i love baking for myself because i like sweets here and there um but i know that it's not too much sugar for me i know i can make it gluten free or i could add a lot more fiber these are these little changes that you can do so it's not like you're never going to eat a pizza anymore or a cookie anymore i indulge once in a while you could you are going to be able to indulge right but before you jump into any type of new diet, start with the basics. You know, eat fewer processed foods, eat less meats, eat more vegetables, increase, obviously you're gonna increase your veggie consumption and, um, you know, buy the, the proper, you know, supplements that you need, like the, the green superfood powder, maybe start with the multivitamin because in the world we live in full of stress and environmental toxins, and our our um, our Earth, um, you know, not not um, having the same amount of minerals and, and vitamins as it used to because we've killed that off. We've we've uh, put so much chemicals on our on our dirt. Um, we're just even if you eat healthy, we're just not getting the proper amounts of nutrients and supplements. Um, it is well known that you know, like eighty five percent of a, of us are deficient in vitamin D. And um, that's not only because we're not eating it, because we're, you know, we're not working outside like our grandparents or great grandparents used to work. We don't, you know, we don't get the uh, vitamin D from the sun. A lot of people are deficient in magnesium. You wonder why you always have headaches or you're tired. So we do need to supplement. So if you do want to try a new diet out there, then make sure you do your research. Um, read all the reviews. Find um, scientific articles. Um, you know backing it up and um, make sure that they you know they talk about the quality of the food and um, that you know there's enough information that you feel comfortable trying something new um, I love trying new things that's the only way you're gonna find out right if it works for you just don't fall prey to the latest diet craze especially extreme diets a uh, diet shouldn't leave you feeling exhausted anxious um, starved um, you know with headaches or worse a diet shouldn't be that way and if you still want to do a quick and easy you know weight loss um, diet just know your you know get all the information and be prepared for any um, you know unwanted reactions or consequences I know that if it's um, something quick and easy um, then you might gain the weight back so I believe in bio-individuality, right? Because of our different genes. So you need to be aware of how your body reacts to certain foods so you can adjust. So you want to start with the basics, you know, cutting down on processed foods. I'm going to repeat this again. Cutting down on um, so much meat products, 
increasing your consumption of vegetables, drinking lots of water, you know, starting to take a multivitamin, a good quality multivitamin vitamin supplement, a superfood powder. And then um, you want, this is sort of aligning yourself. You want a clear path forward when you're trying to change your, your habits, right? Because if you fall, then if you don't have a clear path forward, you're going to go take the easy way out, which is going back to your old habits. And, you know, you want to st slowly get rid of your bad habits and, um, and, you know, make these small changes, these choices about what you put in your mouth every day that is going to make a big impact, you know, in the future. These changes will make a big impact in the future because, um, and don't be so obsessed about about the weight loss because when you start to eat healthier you're gonna naturally lose weight and it's it's about the learning process and the awareness of what you're putting in body and you're loving your body with the good food if you just don't know where to start um, and you don't want to do all this research and if you are really overweight and you've tried dieting and it just doesn't work out you can't seem to lose weight you might need to do a detox because when when you have a lot of weight on you there is a tox, bigger toxic load and your liver is not working properly if your liver is not processing these toxins because it's full of toxins it's going to send them to your fat cells and then your body's going to create more fat to protect uh, you from these toxins leaking out into other parts of your parts of your body so there's a huge toxic load and you need you just need to detox to free up your cells free up your fat cells so they can burn off so you can start to lose weight and you're going to need a thorough detox but you need to do that under the supervision of a professional you know a, a nutritionist someone that knows what they're doing so if you need help with that i can help you i just want to help you start to see the light and see that you can be healthier you can start to lose weight so if you need a, a detox program reach out to me if you just you know if you want an evaluation of your current diet and you're not sure what changes to do you know i can give you a personalized uh, menu plan that you can follow to make it easier i could recommend you to other sources maybe you want to find out a little more about what's going on in your body and there's a different labs that i know about that you can that can test your genes that can test um, your blood you know to find out a little bit more what's going on but if you need help uh, with any of this then go ahead reach out to me at monica's green plate at gmail.com you can send me a message you know i have instagram and facebook green plate nutrition so i hope that this information was really helpful to you guys continue on with your resolution to eat healthier um, and be healthier for the long run thanks for watching guys